Hello and welcome to another video lecture from MrWatkins.com. This video is uh, going to be on pain. Uh, if you haven't watched or have any understanding of the nervous system, um, you probably should before you get to this particular video lecture. So let's go over some things here about pain and uh, kind of talk about what that is. First of all, I want to bring back up, hopefully you've read this or have seen it in one of the other videos, is the uh, nociceptor, and I can spell it better than I can count it. This allows, this receptor is what gives you an awareness um, of tissue energy. It's found in all tissues, it's just not found in the brain, that's the one thing it is, it's not found in. So um, this tells you that there's damage, um, and this is the part that gives you that uh, brain, uh, or excuse me, gives you that pain feeling. Now, uh, fast pain, uh, a sharp shooting pain, uh, it's, it's localized, um, it feels like you're being stabbed, um, you perceive that you've had some injury, and uh, that pain is a very, very fast pain. It travels uh, very quickly down the fibers, uh, the neural fibers um, and in your uh, system. And it, you know, there's a, a number here I'm going to throw out. You don't have to know this number, but that's 30 meters per second. That is incredibly fast. You also have a, a slow pain. Um, sometimes your doctor will say, does it, does the pain feel sharp or is it kind of dull? Um, is it diffused? Does the pain seem to be lasting for a long period of time? Uh, think bruise here when we talk about that kind of pain. You know, the, the skin is bruised. Um, if you push on it, you might get a sharp pain there for a minute, but then you, you feel this dull, diffused pain. Um, a somatic pain could come from like skin, muscles, and joints, where visceral pain tends to come from um, things that are found inside the viscera, and it's really hard to localize that, figure out exactly where that is. But let's um, let's move on here, and let's talk about some different types of pain. And I'm going to talk about four different types of pain. I'm going to talk about phantom pain here real quick. Now, phantom pain is pain that you perceive so there's four different types here. Phantom pain is a pain that you perceive from a body part that doesn't exist anymore. All right, so it's from a body part that does not exist. Now, here's the thing. Um, let's say that your foot, um, something happens, it's damaged, and your foot's removed. So you no longer have a foot, but yet you still perceive pain from that foot that doesn't exist. That's your phantom pain, ghost pain. It's not there. You don't feel it. The next type of pain that I want to discuss here real quick is called referred pain. Now, referred pain, it, it's, again, another misinterpreted pain. And referred pain, it's felt at a site that's different from where the actual cause of the pain is. So it's felt at a site different, different from the cause. Now, this, this pain that you're feeling, it's, you know, you're going to say the pain is coming from the skin, is usually what ends up happening. But the pain is actually, actually visceral. It's down found, say, like in the gut, uh, or it's the heart. But you're saying, oh man, I can feel the pain right there on the outer edge. Like heart pain is felt on the shoulder and the arm. Um, and there's some other reasons, but it's because um, the the uh, plexi from T1 to T5, those thoracic vertebrae, um, are doing sending that signal, and that's where you're getting that from. So this is a, a misinterpreted pain, but you're saying it's felt here. Oh, this is where it hurts, but there really is. It's really visceral, and it's usually inside. Appendix is another one. I feel this pain in my lower right quadrant, and it's just a really sharp pain. It feels like it's right there on that muscle, right there on the outside of the skin, when it's actually the appendix down in the viscera, down at the bottom 
of the uh, ascending colon right there at the joining where the small intestine is, and that's where you're feeling that pain. The third type here that I want to discuss is uh, chronic pain. Now, chronic pain is um, pain that's persistent and it uh, progresses over a long period of time. This is going to be like a bruise, um, basically, is what it ends up being. So it's it's persistent, persistent, and it progresses or stays with you for a long period of time. Okay, so that is the ref that is the uh, the chronic pain, and sometimes you when you go to see the doctor, you say, "Oh man, this hurts," and they may say, "Well, you know, how long has this been going on?" They're trying to figure out is this pain a, a chronic thing or is this something that's what we call this fourth one acute. And acute pain um, is usually a severe pain that follows an injury, whereas your chronic pain it still may follow an injury. Uh, but it's been going on so long that there may be something else that's caused, uh, that injury has caused this pain to continue on and on and on and on. So acute pain is usually severe. And it's uh, usually, usually followed by some type of, um, usually followed by some type of injury. Or it could even be surgery. Uh, I can't spell today. Or followed by some type of surgery. And so you had this acute pain. Um, you know, you you fell and you cut your arm on a piece of glass out, you know, playing soccer. Um, that was happened to be out on the field and they're going to put some stitches in there um, and you're going to feel that acute pain when you get cut. Um, they're going to give you a lidocaine shot, try to numb it up a little bit so that they can stitch it up. You're going to feel that pain until the lidocaine gets in there and shuts down um, that neuron and that registration of that particular type of pain. So this is pain. Um, make sure you know these four pieces. Um, certainly make sure you know the function of the nociceptor as well. Thank you.